functions in two spots, past or the future. The, the ego personality, the one that's out front covering all the pain that's really under there, um, it does not like the present. It hates the present. It does not want to be right here right now. So it goes into the past and makes up stories. Or it goes into the future and projects those stories onward. Right? As long as people are carrying this thing around, we're, we're just gonna we're gonna keep hurting. And then when you have one in a personal relationship, when that is you you're meeting it. You're seeing that, whoa, wait a minute, there is this resistance. The ego is a resistance to communication. How do you get someone to let go of their ego is a better how do you get someone to drop the past and quit insinuating into the future and stand right now and go heart to heart? This is the real trick. But, you know, I think it takes a lot of years of going through the frustration of them not being there to where you become sick of feeling it, so it's gone. But all the stuff you're carrying into it disappears. Then you might get a different reaction, but then you may not. But it won't matter to you at that point. If, if the better thing happens, right on. And if it doesn't, right on, you know. It doesn't really change you that much. I mean, it hurts when someone doesn't communicate with you, doesn't it? But it hurts when they're just yelling at you and calling that communication to you. So, it's pain either way. Right? When you get to that point, it's just how long do you want to feel that? I mean, really, this is, this, is, this is what it comes down to. Don't justify it. Don't play with it. How long do you want to feel that way? Do you want to feel that way? Is there a way for you to not feel that way and stay in that relationship? If you haven't exhausted your avenues, try another one, if that's what you're so inclined to do. But if you are, just leave it alone. But first and foremost, <coughs> you're gonna have to pay some attention to you. And not the kind of attention you're used to. Stay there. But allow yourself to feel okay. Right? Allow like well being to take over some of that frustration. Alone sucks, I know. It does. But trying to fix that kills you. Going through that, you realize you never really were. Alone is a condition you enforce upon yourself. Because right? the minute you don't, you feel you loathe yourself, you stop communicating with anyone. You shut yourself off. For what? For something asshole who, who who's really a good guy but just can't get rid of the asshole in him. <laughs> there's thousands of them millions and billions hell I'm one of them. I'll be honest sure why not no but it's it, it's it's really not it's your, about it's, it's your ability ability to admit that you can be an asshole in order to have an interpersonal relationship, you've got to have one hell of an ego. You really do. You can still have the love that's there. And it can be even more genuine when you start loving you. Because the minute you love you, 
That's the annihilation of the ego. That's, that's what happens. That's the big change. I mean, it destroys your own notions about yourself, which is what the ego is. One giant notion machine. There's a big difference between loving someone and being with someone. No, so not. if you can love somebody, just love them, but not be in love, because once you be in love, <coughs> you take control. There's a big difference between those, those two. You, 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 need, you need to go a little further so I can understand what you're saying. Because it's totally loving someone. Yes. But when you be in love with someone, then you've got all the conditions and all the attachments. Well, that's not in love. But that's, you know, I, you know oh, I'm so Oh, you're, you're talking about society's so definition of it. No, what you say, oh, I'm so in love with somebody. To make it a great relationship, you have to go from that to, I love this person. There's a gradual, there's a graduation of love. Well, I think what most people, when they say, I'm in love, it's not the person they person. love. It's, it's not the person ego. they're loving. It's the way that person's making them feel. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm, the ego. The ego is saying, I need to have this to make me whole. Yeah. And that's where the control and the attachments and the conditions right. and all that comes. But so if you just like love someone because you love that person, there's no ego. You love. Right. Unconditional love. That's being in love. But it, 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 it's very, it's tricky. Well, it's only tricky because, you know, in America... Because you know where I'm coming from. Right. In America, I can say, I love you, and I can <coughs> say it and say it and say it and say it and say it. And it could mean nothing. Yeah. Right? So, when someone says, I'm in love with someone, I mean, if I say it, I mean, it, I mean it. I know that about me, anyway. You know, because... Uh, Love and being in love, they're exactly the same thing. Yes, they are. <laughs> well, you're either in love or you're in love. Which is it? I mean, for me, space? but you understand what I'm saying? From, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the word love differently. That's why the capitals. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, when I say I'm in love, it's an expression from what I'm feeling. It is not, wow, I get this, I get that, I get this, I get that. I'm in love. Ding. It's not a computation. So for me, yeah, I mean, but I'm using the word as it was intended originally. Because I'm in love with you. Every time I see you, you make me smile. Well, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Oh, so you've got the a definite definition between one love and another. How can you do that? Maybe some people think that the I'm, I'm in love with you part is more physical. And possession. Physical and, you know, the ego. It's an ego. I mean, are you in love with the life that you're living? Because, I mean... I love life. I'm in love with Chris, love with I'm in love with my wife, I'm in love with most of the people that I spend a lot of time with. Yeah, but there's certain degrees that are different kinds of You love. put those limits on it. You, got, you have a love for a friend which is different than no. a love for your wife. No. Yes. No. My love for Chris is not different from the love for my wife. It's just love. There's no... The limits and the parameters that you're putting on it, you know, you, you're splitting up in love and love so that you can think about it and be safe like in your thinking about it but really there's just love and it's everywhere and it's all around us you screw whoever you choose to screw <laughs> if that if you screw the same person over and over again does that mean you're actually in love i don't know i i, I think i've met a lot of people who screw each other regularly who can't stand one another yeah, I'm not, I'm not so about i don't know if that means in love that no, I, I i've met know. a lot of people well, who are maybe, maybe doing it and they, there's no love at all. Maybe a better way of putting it is 